Hey hi guys, welcome back. If you're new, please consider subscribing to my channel for awesome content. Hope all of you are doing good. Today I'm going to talk about NPS. What is NPS? NPS stands for National Pension Scheme. Uh, it is a voluntary retirement based scheme by the government. It is regulated by the PFRDA. So Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority. Like insurance is regulated by IFRDA. NPS is regulated by PFRDA. Mm -hmm. NPS is layered in two sections. The first section is tier 1. The second section is tier 2. Let's talk of tier 1. Tier 1 is a pure pension play where you invest. Uh, you have a choice. You have an active choice and a passive choice. Active choice means you can choose where to allocate your funds. That means you have an active choice of allocating up to 75% into equity and the rest in government securities or corporate bonds. If you choose passively, then the fund manager will choose for you depending on your age that how much should you invest and where. The age criteria for doing this is from 18 years to 65 years. So if you are within this range, you can open a NPS. Where can you do it? You can eat. So if you're a government employee, you can do it at your nodal office. If you're a private employee, you can do it at a POP or you can also do it online. Online facility is only available for people who have a PAN linked with their Aadhaar. Coming back to tier one, what are the benefits of tier one? Tier one is basically uh, your EEE type of investment, which is exempt, exempt, exempt. So whatever corpus that you gain after your retirement is all tax free. Additional benefit of a 2 lakh deduction is also available on this under ATC. The minimum requirement is of like PPF, you have a minimum requirement here as well. It is 500 rupees per year. If you fail to pay that, the amount that you have already paid until now gets dormant. In order to reactivate that, you have to just pay all your balances from whatever years that you have not paid. So for example, if you have not paid from the last three years, you will have to pay 500 into 3 which is 1500 rupees to just get it activated. The disadvantage or kind of a mixed advantage plus disadvantage you can say here is you can only withdraw 60% of the total corpus that is generated and the rest will be allocated and given to you in the form of pension. So you can withdraw only 60% of what you are investing. Rest you will always get in the form of pension until you are alive. So for example, if you, uh, for example, if you earn 1 crore rupees, 1 crore 60% is 60 lakh. So 60 lakh you can withdraw tax free and the rest 40 lakh will be allocated in a pension scheme where you will get annual pension in the form of annual or monthly. It depends on you how you are going to withdraw it, but usually it's yearly pension. Let's talk about tier 2. Tier 2 is a pure investment plan unlike tier 1, which is a retirement plan. Tier 2 is only concentrating on investment and that is why it's not tax free. It is as similar as a mutual fund, but the cost of maintaining that fund a little bit lower than compared to the mutual funds. What is the prerequisite for opening a tier 2 account? You have to be a tier 1 account member. So unless you have a tier 1 account in the NPS, you will not be able to go for tier 2. So combine these two together, it's a pretty average or you can say above average tool for investing. I would also prefer PPF, but this is also one theme to go about where you get exposure to equity. You also get exposure to corporate bonds and securities. There are online tools to get or to calculate your returns after let's say this much amount of years. Uh, there are links which I have put down in my description. You can go ahead and watch them. Hey guys, if you like the video, please leave a like. You can put down your thoughts. What do you think about NPS in the comment section? And yeah, up, until next time, cheers. Do subscribe.